The 4.4 release of OpenShift brings some enhancements and features to make application deployment even easier. These features include developer catalog updates to allow developers to filter and group items more easily in the catalog and labels to help visually identify the difference between catalog items. There are also now operator-backed services in the developer catalog. These allow developers to run a variety of workloads that are installed and managed by a Kubernetes operator. Helm 3 has also reached GA in this release of OpenShift. Developers can now install Helm charts through the Helm CLI as well as the developer catalog, and information about Helm releases is displayed in the developer perspective. Finally, developers can now right-click on the canvas and topology view to add new resources to applications and projects. Also, when adding items in context, visual connectors or service bindings can be created on the fly, saving time for developers. Let's take a look at some of these features. Going into developer perspective from topology view, let's open the developer catalog. I mentioned the filter options here. You can see that I can toggle these to view or hide the different types of items in the catalog. These labels here for builder image or operator backed identify the type of item that you're looking at in the catalog. Let's start with operator backed services as I mentioned before. So if I select just the operator back services, I can come over here to this grouping menu and select operator. When I do that, I'm able to group these items by the Kubernetes operator to which they are associated. Let's install one to see how that process works. So this is a Kafka operator. We'll click into here. I get some descriptive information and now I'll click create. I have an opportunity to modify this YAML here. If I prefer to look at that in a more visual format, I can create, click that edit form link. We'll take the defaults and click create. And now as that deploys, you'll see this here in topology view. These operator back services are visually distinct from other items in topology view. You can see the O indicating that it's operator backed and this dotted line rectangle will encompass all of the different components of this operator back service as they come up. While we're waiting for the rest of it to deploy, I'm going to click into this stateful set here and I can see information about the resources that are associated and I can also see what resources managing this particular resource. And I can click into there if I want to learn more. So we also mentioned Helm and that you can deploy Helm charts from the developer catalog. With that item selected, let's search for node. If we wanted to deploy a sample Node.js example from a Helm chart, we can do that by clicking Install Helm Chart. Here you have an opportunity to modify the values in this YAML file here. We'll leave them as defaults, but I'll click Install. And you'll see that show up in Topology View as well. This is distinguished from the other items in Topology View by the Helm icon and this HR uh, label indicating that it is a Helm release. So you can view Helm releases here in topology view. You can also view them in this Helm menu in the navigation. Any Helm releases will be listed here. You can also, of course, use the Helm 3 CLI. If you don't have it already, you can download it from the command line tools section in the menu. If you go there and click download Helm, you will be able to install that on your local machine. Let's take a look at the process of installing a Helm chart from the CLI. So we'll install a repo of charts to our local Helm client. And now install a sample MySQL chart. Helm install example MySQL and tell it which chart we want. And then that's going to be applied on our cluster. If we go here and run Helm list, we can see the Helm releases that are on our cluster. You can see both the one we just did here via the CLI, but also this one that we deployed from the developer perspective. Let's take a look. So you can see this is being deployed here. If we come over here into the Helm, section of the navigation, you can see both of these releases here. And in topology view, 
you can see now that this also has the Helm release indicator, and we can click into that if we want to see more information. Finally, I mentioned the ability to add additional resources to a project or an application. Let's take a look at what it Let's take a look at how you would add additional resources to a project from Topology View. If I right click here on an unassigned area of the canvas, I have this add to project option where I can choose what method I want to use to add something to the project. I'll choose from catalog again. This time we'll use a builder image to deploy a node sample app. I'll use this sample repository here for simplicity, and then we click Create, and that application will be deployed for us there within our project. I mentioned the visual connectors. If I hover over this, you can see this arrowhead appear. Let's say I wanted to create some sort of visual connector between this Node.js component and this one that was installed from our Helm chart. I can take this arrow that appears and drag it over, and it's going to let me know that that's just going to create a visual connector in this case. So there we go. And if I wanted to get rid of that, I can hover over it and click delete to get rid of that connector. So now you've seen a quick overview of some of the features and enhancements that are available in OpenShift 4.4 around application deployment and the developer catalog. Hope you try them out and see how they can help you simplify and streamline your application deployment process.